Hey everyone, my name's Josh, and I just want to show you a little bit of my very, very favorite hobby, which is making Excel look less like Excel. So, this is an infographic I recently built. It is using a little bit of data I put together about foraging in the Pacific Northwest and in the West Coast region of the United States. And it's really designed to highlight some of the Excel features, uh, especially the Excel visual design features that people don't really know about and haven't really used. Um, I'm amazed at how uh, unused a lot of these very, very cool design features are. Uh, so I wanted to share a little bit of that and walk you through what I've done here. Uh, so I guess the biggest takeaway from this video is Excel has almost all the same design features as PowerPoint. Uh, so if you can make a cool PowerPoint slide, you can make something really cool in Excel as well. And you can make something in Excel that doesn't look anything like Excel at all, but instead looks like a dashboard or an infographic or whatever it is that you want to build. So all of this is handled under the Insert tab and using the uh, shapes, pictures, icons, um, and chart features. Um, there's nothing crazy here. There's lots of different shape options that are available in Excel. People don't seem to use most of these, and you don't really need to. This is mostly rectangles I'm using here, but there's a ton available. So how does it work? How do I build something like this, this little card here we see for the chanterelle? If we go over to the card breakdown, all this is two, ra two, two rectangles. One is a rounded rectangle. The other is a rectangle with a gradient fill to create a little shadow effect. An image. This is a rectangle that's been inserted, and instead of having a color as a fill, you can add a photo as a fill. That's a feature in Excel right here under your fill, uh, fill section. Some text, an icon. Um, there's a great free icon set in Excel. People don't seem to know this here as well. You see it right here in the upper left. I'm highlighting it now with my mouse, and a little bit more text. And we layer it all together, and we get a card. Um, in this case, I knew I was going to use this element a lot, so I grouped all the element, all the pieces together and just copy-pasted them over and then edited the text and the images to make them look right. Um, there's also a few charts in this, that are, well, two charts. This is a geo chart here. Um, I just liked it. I thought it looked nice, a good way to explain where this whole thing is from, where all the foraging is done for this. And then a sunburst chart in the center. Sunburst charts are a little bit tricky, but... Um, I think they look fun, and I thought they were a good way to represent this data. So, um, let's see, what are some of the key points I can make here? We as humans have a hard time processing a ton of data, and one of the one of the lessons I've taken away from all of the experience I've had building dashboards is that you need to give people uh, a guide. You need to label things, you need to show them where to look, you need to tie things together for them so they know how to interpret what you put in front of them. It's just impossible for our brains to be able to interpret a huge amount of complex data all at once. So one of the things I've done in this to make it look a little bit more interesting and make it easier to interpret is I've added labels, mushrooms, berries, greens, flowers, so that people can jump to a particular category and understand what's there. And then I've also added these little line guides showing people exactly where to look. Because if I see more L, there's a lot of information here I'd have to look for to find more L. It's much easier if there's a line guiding me to exactly the right spot so that I don't have to spend a lot of time trying to interpret it and trying to figure out where something is. Um, so let me just add a few more little tips in here. If you are, um, if you're starting out in Excel or just starting out in visual design, one of the most important ideas to remember is to always align everything. And we have a lot of alignment features in Excel, but alignment just means this top line, all of these elements align at the top. They all have, you could write, draw a clear line across the top of these three elements. They're spaced relatively evenly, right? Everything's kind of on the same level. When I add multiple elements, they tend to be aligned with each other as well, even across the entire dashboard or the entire infographic. But always thinking about how something's aligned or centered with everything else is gonna be really, really helpful. Um, if you're building something really, really complex, uh, it's worth doing a little bit of planning on with pen and paper first. I actually drew this out on an old piece of paper with an old pencil before I started building it in Excel because it, I knew that I was going to notice some things and come up with some ideas that are going to go into the final product and it would save me time long term. But really the easiest way to do all this is to get a template, get an example file, and just pull it apart yourself. So if you want files like this, uh, you can sign up. I'll put a link to my newsletter where I send out free templates like this every month, sometimes every week. And I'd love to uh, get you on board and take you along on this Excel journey. Thanks.